All right, we're going to do some preparatory hover exercises. These are um, going to get you ready to hover. We'll be playing along in the, what's the, called the high alpha regime of flight. This is sort of past the stall point of the aircraft. It requires additional throttle, and the aircraft uh, becomes unstable. I'm not going to actually let the aircraft get into a hover. There's sort of a point where it kind of wants to point its nose upward, and um, I'm going to resist that. The wing rocking is normal. Once you get into a high alpha mode, the plane just um, sort of wants to stop. So you have to add some throttle. I'll go ahead and go inverted here. Do the same sort of thing in inverted. Now the tricky thing, of course, is that the rudder corrections feel backwards, so that's going to take some getting used to. It takes a lot of effort to keep the aircraft in a straight track along the ground while in high, high alpha. Another good thing to try is uh, put the aircraft into high alpha and when you feel it um, start to sink rapidly, just give full throttle and pull straight out. This will let you have a chance to practice um, the feeling of going into hovering without risking the aircraft. When you pull out vertically, you want to try and keep the aircraft um, straight up. Gives you some practice with the rudder inputs. You'll need to learn how to use rudder um, pretty much perfectly before you try and do a torque roll or hovering. So I would just say fly around a little bit, practice in the sim um, in high alpha, let the plane wall around a little bit and just get a feel for what it's like. And then once you've done that and you can control it, then move on to hovering.